Okay, I'm um, sorry I had to fix one thing. So, my name Claude Robinson. The camera that I'm shooting on currently is the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. Full frame. Obviously right now it's super dark. Um, I have a 50mm Canon c and &E, um, that is at 1.2. Um, it is a EF mount and I'm using the Viltrox uh, adapter, uh, which makes the cameras, which uh, 1.2, maybe I'm not in focus, so let me just zoom up a little bit. Um, I have a Nisi 1.8 uh, IRD or ND filter um, attached to a small rig max, matte box, can't even talk, small rig matte box, and it is now currently exposing to my highlights, which is the window right next to me, right? So I like the 50 millimeter for the look. This is the full frame open gate look, 6K. Um, and I like the look that I'm getting from it currently, but obviously I'm underexposed. Some people, this may be moody and something that they want to look at as far as a visual representation, but we are going to work on this image. So bear with us. We're going to go through a series of steps. I don't necessarily know where we're going to go with the light. We're going to figure it out together. So this is stage one, part one. Tell me how you like the lighting. Comment below. Let me know. Again, 50 millimeters, black magic, 6K full frame, open gate. I can't see myself, so let me actually fix that. What did I do from the last scene to this scene? For one, the sun is now brighter. Um, maybe that changes any of the exposure settings from before. Two, I added a slash or kookaloris um, to the background because it was just super dark back there added shears as far as the form that the light cuts through it's giving it a sheer effect so that it looks like the window is um, adding some light to the background right so um, just drawing a little bit of attention and um, I guess getting my ratios correct in a sense of however I can do that um, the sun is super bright right now this image to me starting to form somewhat of a cinematic story if that is even what i'm even doing right now i'm just kind of pointing the camera putting on a tripod and trying to figure out um balance in lighting luminosity um contrast ratios um and some other things i mean ambiance see the the sun's going back down now so i'm going to do Another thing, uh, which is add any type of um, haze, um, and I'm gonna try to get that going just to see how that looks for this image because they say it adds um, to the atmosphere, to the ambiance, um, the lights bounces off of the smoke or the haze, whatever have you in the room. So let's see what that does. All right, um, we're back. I added some haze, some fog. I damn near used the whole bottle but um that is what this is looking like um i don't know if you can necessarily see the light that's supposed to be adding um some separation so the background light um, i pointed it back there i know yeah i guess you can see the gimbal that's what this structure is right here again this is more or less my side lighting approach um i feel that side lighting is um, i shoot a lot of weddings and when I'm doing wedding videography per se, um, even f photos, um, I always put my subject next to the window, kind of side lit. Um, if I'm doing like a groom, sometimes if I'm doing the bride, um, just depending on what everything looks like. But side lighting to me always gives off a cinematic tone. Um, I, I keep saying cinematic. Is that even a word that we're using going into 2024 if I post this in 2023? Anyways upsetting because everything i just did is probably not on that card anymore so i'm just gonna take it as if i was now recording um so what i was talking about from the last segment um i added a background light to separate um and add a little bit more to the contrast ratios um added haze into the shot and which is probably now down down so i'm probably gonna add a little bit more at some point let me just quickly this is haze in a can. Um, just kind of just do this. 
you know? Um, you can waft it up so that it isn't all just in one situational or in one segment. Um, but that is that for that. So again, added haze to the scene um, to create, um, I keep saying this, but a cinematic touch. And then the last thing that I did was add a tube light, which is basically helping the key light, which is my side light, wrap around to my other um, shadow portion of my face. So I'm shooting short side key right now, which is shooting on the shadow side of my face. And this um, tube light um, is helping with the wrap of the light. So right now I'm, it's dark, you know what I mean? It's dark on this, my left, your right. Um, but if I turn it on, it adds a little bit to the wrap so you can see this left side of my face, the right side of your screen. It's not super bright. I'm not trying to make this a flat image. Uh, I definitely want to add some type of cinematic tone, some contrast, um, some shadow ratios, negative ratios, contrast ratios, whatever you want to call them. Um, hey, some people might like this image, you know, some people might think this is very pleasing to them. But um, the, to me, this adds just a little bit more detail when I add the um, the tube light to it. There is no diffusion. It's it's a Godox light, right? Um, I'm using Godox lights. Um, I'm using the 300 watt um, with a Kukuloris, um, so with an attachment mount that adds the background light, um, and then I'm using the tu the tube light. That's the only two lights that I have, other than this natural source that's coming from outside. I'm shooting on the Canon C&E 50 millimeter cinema lens at 1.2 and the Viltrox adapter from EF to L mount. I am shooting on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame and what else? I'm shooting at 24 frames per second. I'm shooting at 400 ISO. I'm shooting at 5600 white balance. I am shooting at, I believe, 8 to 1 on the contrast or the um, the bit depth, the bit depth, uh, the constant quality, you know, 8 to 1, whatever the ratio is. Um, what else do people like to know? I don't even know what else. What else do y'all want to know? You know, comment below so I can figure those things out. Um, my name's Claude Robinson, and I thank you for viewing this video. This is probably a little bit longer than you expected. Um, but just want to get back on the algorithm, back on the board. Um, so if anybody likes these videos and still wants me to continue, I, the only reason, again, why I made this, one one last thing, I promise. The one reason why I made this is on my page, I have a video where I guess, I guess the slates or the slats of my blinds were shooting up and it was creating this like raccoon eyes kind of like thriller horror effect where you're like kind of up lighting and I look like fucking Skeletor bro I look like a skeleton and I just didn't like it a lot of people watched the video and I kept it up there because it was getting some views um and it was a little clickbaity but I didn't like the image from that um uh, the settings that I put or whatever. And then people are like, dude, how did you do that, man? And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, bro, this is trash. This is some trash content. You know what I mean? But um, we're just going to end that here and now. Um, peace. Claude Robinson.